Alright, so I know what wait. You already cut that up. Yeah. Just a little bit. Alright guys, this is your boy Curtis Dondino. Today we're gonna be doing a very quick and simple tutorial on how to cut up your shit. I mean cut up your hoodies, sweaters, t-shirts to kind of give it a Yeezy feel. Um it's not too late for that look quite chat, because if you feel like it's too late, then that means that you probably shouldn't have ever been wearing it in the first place, because it's just like something that's going to be low-key timeless. Like, people are going to cut up their old clothes for the test of time. Sadly, what I'm cutting up today isn't old, it's brand new. Um, I just got it from H&M, it was $25. And you could probably find a, a Walmart hoodie and do the same thing. I just really like this color, as you can see. And it's just a basic pullover hoodie. I like pullovers better. And let's just get right to it. So all, to, all you're going to need today is like a razor. You can buy these at pretty much any hair store, hardware store, Walmart. They cost about 50 cents. Um, sometimes you can get a box of them for a dollar, like a box of 10 for a dollar. And then some scissors. I'm using fabric scissors today just because I have some, but you can use like regular scissors. And you want to get a material that's kind of like thin, but also somewhat stretchy. So that way when you're ripping it and you're cutting it, it can kind of have like a pull to it. All right. Hey. Hey, hey, Ice and Mike and Johnny Cash splash on a stupid bitch, hey, throw the cash on the bitch, hey, yeah, hey, hundreds of fifties and twenties, hundreds of fifties and twenties, nigga ain't getting no money, bad white bitches, no bunnies, hey, hundreds of fifties and twenties, hundreds of fifties and twenties, nigga ain't getting no money, bad white bitches, no bunnies, hey, hundreds of fifties and twenties, hundreds of fifties and twenties, nigga ain't getting no money. So as you can see, we got like some major distress in here. But because it's just here and it has that focused look, because it's just here and it has that focused look, that's why I wish I had the camera that was on my head because you just do like that. So whatever you pretty much see, it sees. But because it has this distress fo this look focus here, it makes it look more expensive than like the regular hoodie that you can get from downtown locker room or get this fit a thousand on my jeans a thousand on my wrist skinny jeans on but it's still for the night fucking with me i'ma show you ain't lying war zone nigga these bullets fly mamas and daddies out here crying 150s and 20s yeah bottom on race everybody done get it how you get it all right so me i don't really want any more holes than what i already have so I'm going to kind of keep it simple like this, and I'm going to just do some more distressing around the hood, then around the pockets, and then some at the bottom and on the corner of the sleeves, just to give it a more a elevated look. I feel like the like the over-holy thing is like, it looks like it's $2, and it looks like it comes from like downtown locker room, foot locker, or, or, or like a place that really doesn't sell clothes, but the clothes they do sell are kind of like too trendy or like too, you know what I mean? All right, let's get back to it. You ain't getting no dough. No. You be bluffing on the low. No. Nigga, you act just like a hoe. Oh. Nigga, stop calling me a bro. Oh. You don't know me when like you're doing that. I might pull up at your show and take the your bitch and pipe that inside. I grabbed her hand and said, Let's go. Yeah, now she with the gang. Like, Roger that copy. Every day she wanna hang. Now she calling me her poppy. Me and Cash doing our thing. Getting money is our hobby. Bitch, my watch and teeth on bling. And my pockets very sloppy. Like, hundreds and fifties and twenties. I spend the tens and the fives. Nigga ain't getting no money. We ballin' like NBA Live. Bad white bitches, no bunnies. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Ice and Mike and Johnny Cash, bitch. We stacking up the dead guys. Hey, hundreds of fifties and twenties. Kind of slide it in. Now, you do want to alternate between going up and down with the razor, like th like this way, like this way, and then like this way, like you know, like yeah, vertical. Like what? Like vertical and horizontal. Okay, great. This light is ugly on me. So whenever I wear hoodies, I hate the fact that like my chains don't kind of show or like I feel like I don't have a neck. I'll be like. So we just gonna cut the neck a little bit right here. You gotta make sure you do this right though, because this could end up being ugly. 
very easily. So, uh, and then with the little part you cut, you want to distress that. I could have zoomed in some more so y'all can see it. To put some alcohol on it. Why you cutting me this? You won't see. Yeah. Can the camera see this? Hell no. Y'all can't really see what's going on here. I'm gonna take y'all like two steps back so y'all can see. <laughs> then once you cut it off at the hem and you have like some extra hanging, you want to dirty up this edge right here to give it that more raw feel. And the last touch. You remember exes, we was out in Texas, flipping up. Now you wanna text me, you was trying to flex me. I ain't really down, so let's rope. Always on the late side, tripping on the late night. Where you wanna ride, ay. I was out in Cali, you was in the valley. Didn't wanna say, ay. See, so now you have like a really distressed rugged effect. All right, now, so now I'm just gonna show you guys with me with the hoodie on. I didn't get a chance to make an outro, but be sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. Thank you. Yo, follow me. Follow me. Follow me!